So I made 115 million coins from a single spooky fest, and I'm going to be going over how I did it, starting with no more than 50 million coins, and how you can do it as well if you so wish to. There's also a 5 million coin giveaway in today's video. Comment your favorite word in the comments, and whichever word I find the funniest, I will give the person money if they are subscribed, 5 million coins. So make sure you subscribe and like, let's get into it. So recently there was a spooky festival. And I was able to make 150 million coins instead of no, no more than 50 mil. So how did I actually do it? I started off by investing those 50 mil before Spooky even started. Let's see how it went. All right, all right, chat. So I'm, I'm looking to invest for Spooky. Um, and I feel like I'm going to do some gambling. First, I need to invest some money because usually this goes up. Let me buy 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 50,000 at 650 per solid i'll put in the rest or later that should fill usually when it's that spooky it's like 1k per so that's already making me like 32k but we're gonna put this into some fireworks and we're gonna gamble some moolah if you know what i mean the reason i don't put it into purple because it would make sense to put it into purple um is because i can get purple anyways from green i can turn green from cheaper into purple it's a long complicated process and involves a transmutation machine Basically speaking, I shoot a firework and it creates bats that shit out candy. So that's what happens, I guess. I'm sure you're wondering what my actual plan is, chat. So my plan is that I'm going to have a bunch of green candies that I'm buying before. And then when spooky actually happens, I'm going to not do anything to it. I'm just going to pump all the money I possibly have into bat fireworks and just launch them off because usually they make you money. And then once I have that backfire, I'm going to buy like black cats and some other items like that because I can make a bunch of profit. Sadly, Derpy's up. If Derp, if effing Derpy hadn't been up, bro, I could have made so much more money. But that limits like half the options off. But plan is going to be Batfireworks. But once I have the purple candy from the Batfireworks, I'm not going to sell it directly because I can make more money by buying stuff. So buying like black cat, buying, you know, all the good stuff you can buy, buying that instead of just selling it flat out can make me some extra moolah. And you know, I like moolah. Alright, so if you didn't know, bad fireworks is a thing that the fearmonger sells. You can spend 100 green candy on them and you can launch them off and it'll create bats in the sky, giving you a flat amount instantly of purple candy and raining green candy from the sky. Now, the reason this is profit is because of how much purple candy you actually get. The bat fireworks have all these chances to get X amount. Usually it's 5 or 10 and can occasionally be 15 or 20, and rare occasion 25 or 64. But someone did the math and you get around 11 purple candy per bat firework you launch. The reason this is so good for me is because I bought mine at around 600 per green candy wise. So 100 of them at 600 will cost me around 60,000 coins for me to buy a single bat firework. So I could buy the bat firework for 60k and at the peak during spooky, prices of the purple candy reached 10,000 coins, meaning if I got an average of 11, I'd be spending 60k and getting 110k every single time if I had average luck. Now, with all the amount of candy that I bought, which was 90,000 green candy for about 55 million coins-ish, I was able to get 900 bat fireworks, which would be the equivalent of around 10k purple candy or 100 mil. So I bought all the different fireworks and I literally sat there hub swapping, launching fireworks for a good hour and a half. All right, let's get right into it. I have about 15 more stacks besides this one. As long as I get like tens and fives on average, I should be pretty good. We gotta hope I get some 64s. I've already gotten like one or two in previous stacks, but we gotta hope we get some 64s. Cause you know, 64s are pretty hot, let's be real. 25, 15, ooh, okay. All right, chat, what do we send my money on? I've got 9K purple candy. I need to figure out how to divide this up as best as possible. Um, let me think. I think I'm probably gonna do, I'm gonna spend 6K on black cats, cause usually black cats go up. They're like, it cost me like 16 mil to buy with purple candy and I, they usually sell for like 25 mil. That's some profit. Um, so if I do three of that, I still have extra candy left. I'm going to invest in some other stuff. What can I invest in? Let's look at the stuff. Ooh, I'm going to place some biodas for some ectoplasm and soul fragments. I think that should be enough. I'm going to sell the ex excess candy, get some soul fragments and ectoplasm. Ooh, I'm also going to get intimidation talismans. Remember that these things go for like 1.5 million coins or something, and they're hella cheap to get. 
Alright, so I'm gonna get Intimidation Talismans, Bat Artifacts. We got ourselves some Ectoplasm and Soul Fragments. And then we might go back to gambling, depending on how much extra money we got, you know? So, I took this chance to do some more gambling. So, I bought the Green Candy, and then I bought three more stacks of Bat Fireworks, or around 190 more. After all of this, I ended up with around 2k more candy, and I just sold them to the bazaar again. Got an insane amount of profit. After two-ish hours, maybe one and a half hours of work, here's what I ended up with. Ended up with 45 million coins on me. I ended up with 20 million coins from Soul Fragments and Ectoplasm, so putting me at 65 million coins. Four Intimidation Talismans to go for 1.5 million coins each, so putting me up to 70 million coins. Each black cat's worth 25 mil, so that puts me up to 145 million coins. And each stack of bat fireworks, each bat firework goes for anywhere from 100k to 200k, so I picked the average of 150k, meaning in total that's 18 million coins. So after selling everything, I'd have about 168 million coins, give or take a few, because market changes, and I can't actually sell them yet because Derpy's currently mayor. But I started off with 50 million coins, and I can sell all my stuff for 168 mil if prices don't go up, which they usually do go up. And this is without Auction House. If there was Auction House, I could have made so much more profit. So if you want to do this at home, here's what I recommend. Now it is gambling, so be aware that you could lose money, alright? Statistically speaking, if you have average luck, you should be making money per... But just do the math and check. And launch bad fireworks and then use the purple candy at the right time. Buy everything at the right time. And then buy the stuff with the stuff. And sell the stuff at the right time. So I bought my purple candy before. Because generally speaking during the spooky fest. The prices are the highest. During spooky fest the candy, green candy was going for 1k. 1.1k something like that. And purple candy was going for around 10,000 coins. And now they're obviously a lot less. Something else you'll be able to do for the next Spooky Fest, because Derpy isn't going to be mayor, is going to be AH investing. This is where you buy items from AH that are specifically available during Spooky, and then price will rise up over time. We'll give a few examples of these for items you can do in addition to all of this if you want to have a more diversified portfolio. These items include Vampirism, Deep Sea Orb, and Phantom Rods. These three things, generally speaking, can go up by a decent amount, after Spooky is ended, so Vampirism books are usually like 300k during Spooky, they're like 800k outside of Spooky. So investing in some of these stuff as well can help you make a bunch of profit. But if you do all this stuff, you can make even more money than I did because, you know, you have AH open to you. So buying stuff at the right time and gambling is fun. Either way, if you guys enjoyed today's video, subscribe, it's really the world to me, and I hope this helps you. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.